I am acutely aware of the fact that the Arctic Ocean is our garden. The most vital resources that sustain our cultural identity are within the Chukchi and the Beaufort Sea. The race for oil and gas in the Arctic is on. If approved, Shell could be opening up the entire Arctic to the world. Are they ready? We all remember the horrors of Deepwater Horizon. How would Shell ever clean up a spill in the Arctic? The Arctic coast is one of the least developed places left on our planet. It's inhabited mainly by Alaska natives who still live off the land. Shell's arrival to drill in the Arctic Ocean is a snowball that could trigger an avalanche of industrial activity. But the harsh truth is, should anything go wrong, we simply do not have the resources to deal with a disaster. I have mixed emotions about industry going out on the personal um, level. It divides the people. There's concerns of the methods and technology of oil, oil spill response in ice infested waters. In a region that lacks basic infrastructure, even a minor oil spill could be devastating. Having an, an incident in a remote area, for instance, in the North Slope or, or in the Arctic, uh, creates some very unique challenges that, as the chief of response, you know, that keeps me up at night thinking about uh, things like, you know, how do I get the equipment and the personnel there? Looming over Shell's operation is the ghost of Deepwater Horizon one of the worst environmental disasters in U.S. history. But as bad as the Gulf oil spill was, the conditions for responding to it were just about perfect. Within 500 miles of the Deepwater Horizon drill site, emergency workers had access to hundreds of airports, dozens of major seaports, and 30 Coast Guard facilities. Not to mention countless hotels, highways and roads, and a fleet of fishing boats to help clean up the spilled oil. These resources and infrastructure simply do not exist in the Arctic. Barrow does not have much at all in the way of a port facility, so in reality, everything's gonna come by plane to Barrow. And then once I can get the people there and the equipment there uh, to do any kind of response, then I've gotta worry about how those people are gonna be sheltered and fed. A town like Barrow of about 4,000 people cannot absorb a huge influx of people to respond to, a, to an incident, whether it's a major search and rescue case or, a, you know, like an oil spill. If a spill occurs, first responders will be operating with an incomplete instruction manual. Scientists know very little about how oil reacts in the frigid Arctic Ocean or how it would affect native species. One of the things that needs to be researched further is what happens, what happens to the oil, what's the fate of the oil, how does it behave, um, how do you find it. Even, whether it's in ice-free or, or, or ice-covered waters, it's still different than if you're in the warmer environment. Mother Nature still remains Shell's biggest obstacle. For weeks after the company had expected to begin drilling, its well sites remained too ice-choked to allow any ship traffic. In the face of these challenges, the native community is torn. Drilling will generate an influx of tax revenue, but brings the potential to forever damage the natural resources that have sustained their culture for thousands of years. I've been in meetings where it's been so emotional, you know, when very emotional that elders have tears in their eyes. Families are concerned, and yet the younger generation say we need jobs in one setting. That is tough. Shell's Arctic wells will be less complex geologically than those in the Gulf. Yet while the risks may be different, they are no less severe, and the potential for damage is simply unquantifiable. Insurance giant Lloyd's of London has warned that Arctic offshore drilling constitutes a unique and hard to manage risk. Shell declined to participate in this video, saying, quote, the debate over exploratory drilling in Alaska is over. But the debate is far from over for those who still recall the horrific consequences of the 1989 Exxon Valdez oil spill.
I saw what we had to do to clean up what happened in Prince William Sound, and I do not believe that we are at all adequately prepared in any of the other places to, to take care of that, and that causes me great concern. Many in the tightly knit communities on the North Slope share this concern. Shell's offshore operations are just the beginning of a new black gold rush. Both Stat Oil and ConocoPhillips already have plans to follow suit, and more wells means more opportunity for something to go wrong. By allowing drilling in the Arctic Ocean without adequate investment in research and infrastructure, we risk defiling one of our great natural treasures. You look at deep horizon, Exxon Valdez, or other major catastrophes across the global community. It has happened. The potential is always there. The industry can't say it will not happen. I've never seen anything as ugly as the loss of uh, wildlife and habitat is what I've witnessed in Prince William Sound, and I, I would hope nobody ever has to see that again. <laughs>